What's up guys, this is going to be part 3 and the last part in the best of 3 against me and my friend Rocco. And uh, we both, well I didn't change my team up, I'm actually using the same team that I was previously using in part 2. But Rocco changed his team up a little bit and he's actually sporting Mewtwo on his team uh, as well. And uh, I didn't know what like items Mewtwo's run, usually they do opt for the life war, but... He also has a Rayquaza on his team as well, but I mean, the Rayquaza could have been Choice Band. I don't know, I didn't know what he wanted to do, but he is sporting a team of uh, Mewtwo, uh, Thundee Eye, with the Aegislash now for the Xerneas check, Kangaskhan, Amoongus, and the Mega Rayquaza. Now, I didn't know who he would want to lead with right here. I kind of felt like he would want to lead again with, like, uh, his Kangaskhan uh, and Amoongus to get a fake out Spore off and uh, potentially, you know, uh, try to prevent me from setting up with my Xerneas, in which I actually do lead, so we're going to jump right into this. And uh, you're going to see that he actually, smartly enough, does not lead with his Kangaskhan. Uh, and uh, I believe he goes into his Thunderous and his Amoongus, which is actually a very disruptive force for my entire team, uh, because I can't take out his Amoongus with my... Um, uh, nor my Weavile or my Xerneas, and it's going to be resisting my attacks, uh, and even if I'm a plus two special attack, I still can't take out the Amoongus, so Amoongus is really good for him to have on his team right here, but uh, I want to um, uh, get off some good damage off into the Thunders, potentially take it out in this turn, because it was really disruptive. I didn't want to deal with any Swaggers or Thunder Waves, because uh, I needed the speed control uh, on my team with the Geomancy, so I just go out for the all-out attack onto the Thunders. Uh, I didn't see any... I, I didn't see anything wrong with doing that. I could have taken out the Thunderous right there and then. So I went for that. So he switches in his Rayquaza, anticipating maybe like a Geomancy or a Fake Out into the Thunderous. Um, I don't know, because if I got a Geomancy up... Actually, no, he went for the Spore. So if I got a Geomancy up, I would have been spored and then he probably could have dragon ascended so that was actually a pretty good switch in on his part uh but i did not go for the geomancy i went for the moon blast so i did take out his Rayquaza, probably the biggest spread on his team um and my xerneas does go to sleep right here now thunderous comes back in and i protected with my weave all the previous turn did wouldn't uh, didn't want to go to sleep uh, and right here, I don't really care what goes, uh, what happens to my Weavall. I want to get rid of the Thunderous right here, and I didn't actually think an Icicle Crash would take out the Thunderous. Uh, depends on how bulky it was, and um, yet again, I'm not uh, Life Orbs. I'm actually Focus Ash with my Weavile. And uh, now I actually do wake up, and I get the Geomancy off with my uh, Xerneas, um, which is really, really good. So whatever comes in onto that Thunderous slot is going to be taking a lot of damage, and uh, most likely my Weavile will be going to sleep right here, which is perfect fine um, because the Amoongus really can't do much to it and uh, whatever comes in um, I mean can take it out but then I just get a free switch and anything I have in the back um, so and the Mewtwo actually comes in right here and this is the part where I kind of screw up a little bit and the Mewtwo and the Amoongus are going to present a huge threat to my team and you're going to see that because it's going to come down to the wire and I kind of choke it at the end here uh, I do protect my Xerneas to potentially um, uh, wake up on this turn with my uh, Weavile. Just burning turns of sleep with my Weavile. So I know we can't side strike my Weavile, uh, and I didn't want any potential damage down onto my Xerneas. Uh, so right here, uh, I I mess up. I went for the Moon Blast on an Amoongus. I'm trying to take the Amoongus out because it's the biggest threat. I didn't want to go to sleep or anything like that with my Xerneas again. And I knew the side strike wouldn't have been able to take me out since I am plus two special defense. But he gets a crit. Um, but in retrospect, what I should have done was go for a Dazzling Gleam uh, because as you see right here. His Mewtwo is going to be Focus Ashed, and that was absolutely insane. I did not anticipate a Focus Ash to be on the, um, the Mewtwo, which actually works out for him, because I'm going to go for a knockoff into the Mewtwo slot, and it's not going to be able to take it out. And the Mewtwo is just going to go on like a sweeping spree, spree right here. Um, <clears throat> and it's going to take out my Xerneas. Now, if I would have gotten the uh, Dazzling Gleam off into the um, Mewtwo, I would have been able to take it out with the uh, knockoff right here, but that does not happen. <laughs> Alright, so I think I'm going to bring in my Salamance right here um, to possibly get, you know, like a Hyper Voice off or um, attack before the Mewtwo, uh, and uh, I kind of whiffed that yet again because I don't know much about Mewtwo. I didn't know how fast it was, and it actually is faster than my Mewtwo. So what I should have done right here was Mega Evolve Protect Salamance um, because I knew Mewtwo carries Ice Beam. Uh, it all depends on whether or not it would have been able to take me out, and it actually does, you're gonna, as you're going to see here in a second. Um, and I go for the knockoff with the Weavile for the guaranteed KO into the um, Mewtwo, but he smartly enough goes for the... Um, 
uh, Ice Beam right there, which I should have protected. And then he actually um, Rage Powders. <laughs> I'm going to go right into that with my knockoff. And it's not going to take out the Amoongus because, yet again, I am not Life Orb. So I don't have that extra power behind that knockoff. And uh, he is actually going on a sweep right here with his Mewtwo. Uh, but fortunately enough, I do have the Kyogre in the back. So um, regardless whether or not... Um, he uh, gets like a crit with a side strike, it still won't take out my Kyogre, and I will be able to get a water spout off and take out both the uh, Amoongus and the Mewtwo because I'll attack before the Amoongus. So it's pretty much good game at this point. He is going to go for the side strike for onto the uh, Kyogre. And as you see right here, uh, he does get the crit, in fact, and it still doesn't take out my Kyogre because it's incredibly bulky. And at that point, he couldn't go for the Rage Powder because he needed to do something with his Amoongus. Um, and I believe he goes for like the Spore. Um, but we're not going to see that, and I did ask him, and I think he did go for the Spore, or maybe like the Giga Drain onto the Kyogre, um, but it's pretty much a good game, because I could have just attacked with my Weavile and outsped the Amoongus and still KO'd it. Anyway, that's going to be it for game one. Um, that was actually a lot closer than I had liked to be there at the um, end game, and having Focus Sash on the um, uh, Mewtwo really caught me off guard and benefited him in the long run, and if uh, I didn't take out the Rayquaza, and if I actually dick over the Geomancy, um, as he anticipated me to do, uh, I would have been put to sleep and he would have been able to take me out with the Dragon Ascent because I would have had to take a guaranteed turn of sleep. And uh, it was going to look dire at that point. And at that point, I didn't even know that the Mewtwo did have the Focus Sash, so it would have been able to work out for him. Uh, we've had a lot of close games, and unfortunately, um, I do get lucky sometimes. But I do play uh, optimally, going for the Moonblast instead of the Geomancy, knowing that I needed to assess the threat, which was the Thunderous, and taking care of it. And he did switch into his Rayquaza, and I did take care of the Rayquaza. Anyway, we're going to get into Game 2 of Part 3 right now. Alright guys, this is going to be the final battle. I mean, it wouldn't have been the final battle if Rocco would have won because we would have won in game 3, but unfortunately I do win. I'm spo I am guess spoilers? <laughs> but uh, he does change his team composition up in this game right here. He will be bringing the Aegislash to Kangaskhan. Mewtwo, because I put in a lot of work, so why not bring the Mewtwo? Um, and he's going to bring the Thunderous because it's very disruptive to my team and, you know, it's, you know, it, it, he has no... Um, problem bringing that. I mean, he should be bringing it because it disrupts my um, Xerneas, my um, um, and my Kyogre, and uh, does a lot of damage with the Thunderbolts. Uh, anyway, we're gonna start this battle right here. I uh, anticipate him to lead with the um, Mewtwo, so I wanted to lead with my Kyogre and my Weavile because I knew he couldn't side strike my Weavile, and I could just fake him out to get rid of his Focus Sash. Uh, and I knew he wouldn't be able to take me out uh, with anything that he had on his team with my Kyogre, and I still could Origin Pulse Slash. Uh, Witter Spout uh, with the fake out support from my Weavile right here. So, my Kyogre is going to go through par uh, Primoral uh, Reversion right here. I just love these animations. They're really, really awesome. All the animations like Geomancy and the Primal Reversions uh, are really, really nice. And uh, I, I, like, I really like that aspect of that in uh, BGC 2016. You know, the animations. I know it's stupid. But I will go for the safe fake out into the Mewtwo because I knew Thunderbolt was a 3 0 KO onto my Kyogre. But he goes for the Focus Blast onto my Weavile. And it misses. That is not the move you want to have on your um, Thunderous. And I spoke to him about that after the battle. I said, you should just put role play into that slot so you can. Um, you know, take advantage of roleplay when you have your Desolate Land up and your um, Delta Stream up. But, you know, this is pretty much a quick game at this point because I have a full-powered uh, Water Spouting um, Kyogre right here. And uh, it's just, it just going to put in so much work. So, right here is going to Mega Evolve with this Kangaskhan. Probably going to go for the Fake Out into the Kyogre. So, I'm actually just going to Double Protect right here because, you know, off chance that he actually went for the Fake Out into the Weavile. I still, um, you know, um, prevent that from happening so that I can preserve my Sash. And, uh, you know, for he has to go for the Fake Out into the um, Kyogre. But he actually doesn't do that. He goes for the... Um, uh, Power Punch into the Weavile because he has a bulky Kangaskhan. He would have been able to survive the Witter Spout. Uh, and his Aegis Slash goes for the King's Shield. Anyway, he is going to go for the Power Punch into the Weavile already here. The Weavile is going to go down, but it's perfectly fine because I, yet again, I still get a Witter Spout off. Even though I am Min Speed Kyogre, I still will be able to, be able to outspeed uh, Min Speed um, Aegis Slashes, which they you typically are run min speed so that you can outspeed in the trick room as well as get off a very powerful gyro ball into the um, Geomancy Xerneas. But I'm just going to get off another water spell and, you know, again, this is pretty much going to be a good game. I am going to get the Intimidate down on the Kangaskhan, so he's only going to be plus one at this point. So Sucker Punches really aren't too much of a threat, so I could just freely go for another water spell. Um, and I'm going to Mega Evolve my Rollwile, and then yet again, 
it's really not going to do anything. But it's really, it's really good on his part for, uh, you know, evening his Kangaskhan to um, survive uh, eruptions and water spouts because that's definitely something you're probably going to have to build for in VGC 2016. So that was good on his part. That was a really quick game, uh, but that's pretty much it for this video right here. I hope you did like the one, two, and three parts of the battles that we did have. And uh, if anyone does want to battle me, please shoot me a request down below in the comment section. Send me a request um, via text message because I know a couple of you guys have my phone number and um, in the mess message uh, section in YouTube here. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll be up for basically doing anything when it comes to like VGC 2015, 14, 16, I really don't care as long as it's double so I can, you know, kind of practice along the way there and let me know whether or not you want me to record it, not record it. I, I do play a lot of games off camera where I don't record, but I like to put VGC content out there on my channel and I do usually ask people if I can post on the channel. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. Please look forward to more VGC uh, content. Um, and I really hope they update the battle spot uh, on the game so that we can actually start playing in-game on January 1st, which is in one day. So I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, guys, peace.